today's the day for another Young Justice review. While you're here, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and hit that notification bell so you never miss a video. Also, check out and subscribe to my group channel, Comic Frontline, where the Frontline 6 come together every Tuesday night at 10 p.m. Eastern Time for Frontline Live to discuss all the latest news in geek culture and our top 5 comics of the week. Continue the conversation on the Frontline Discord. Be sure to check out ComicFrontline.com for the latest previews, reviews, news, and interviews, along with fun, unique features and daily updates. And don't forget to follow me, Comic Book Theater, Media Manus, and Comic Frontline on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. Hey everybody out there, all those outsiders, welcome back to the Comic Book Theater. Jay here with another review. Today I'm going to be reviewing Young Justice Outsiders, Episode 21, and this is called Unknown Factors. Now... The episode just has an A story, a B story, and a C story also, but they also cross-pollinate here, except for um, the C story. That doesn't really connect yet. It might connect somehow, some way down the road, but right now it's just an off-side story, okay? So the A story is about um, Nightwing and Black Lightning are infiltrating Granny Goodness's house to try, because they, they, um, they have Mother Box, and it senses... Apocalyptic technology inside. So they're going in there, and when they go in there, they're cut off from Oracle. She can't see, hear them, anything. And then, you know, they're taken down, and that's all we see. And then we're in Atlantis, and we're seeing, um, you know, Dolphin, who has selected the name Dolphin, so it was who I thought it was. Um, you know, swimming around with um, Caldor's parents and having fun. And Caldor is with his um, new boyfriend, and we find out his name is Wind. It's spelled W-Y-Y-N-D-E, but it's pronounced Wind. Um, and Oracle contacts Caldor and says, look, Nightwing and Black Lightning are in trouble. We have to get it to them. Um, and he's like, I can't because, you know, it's Justice League. And she was like, none of the team's available. You have to do it. And he was like, okay. And then Wynn's like, yo, I'm going too, you know. And Caldor's like, no, I can't let you risk your life. He was like, dude, I had the same exact military training you do. I have, I never quit sorcery school, and I can kick your ass, you know. So um, Caldor was like, okay, let's go. And they both go there, and they actually just, like, walk into Granny Goodness's house. They knock on the door, and they're like, hey, you know, we're here, um to get Nightwing and um, Black Lightning, a couple of our friends, you know, they say. And Granny Gooden says, okay, you can take them. So she calls on the thing, they go down. And um, as they go down, you know, she shows that, that they're um, being tortured, you know. She's um, brainwashing them again. And she's like, if you guys, you can go out there anytime you want and rescue them. So they go out there and they're like, oh, you know, they're feeling the execution, um, the, um, the pain that they're feeling, and they're hearing, you know, Granny's, um, her subliminal messages to obey her and all that, and when realizes, you know, you can use your arm tattoos to, um, protect yourself, and it helps a little, so they grab them, they come in, when it also grabs the mother box, which, when they go up, Granny Goodness is like, uh, 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 I say you can rescue your friends, not the mother box you need to be punished, and Calder was like, oh, no, he doesn't, and then, um, she's like, oh, yeah, and she turns Nightwing and Black Lightning on him, which, you know, they're fighting, and she's, you know, Mother Box gets knocked down, she's about to destroy Mother Box, and that's where the, um, B story comes in, now, the B story, um, is about the people back at, um, base, okay, so we got, uh, Gar and Brion fought the Condiment King, uh, Victor made it up with his father. They're like hugging and saying I love you to each other. So they're all good now. Um, we have Violet and uh, Brion still not talking. And you can see that they both want to. But we have Dr. Jace in their ear. And she's like telling Violet, oh, well, why don't you wait until my colleague, my mysterious colleague that I never tell you who they are, 
is, um, you know, confers with me tonight and we can give him good news instead of, you know, telling him that you're going to die. Wouldn't that be better? And she's like, okay, I guess, you know. And then, um, then we have Brion, who, when she goes up to see him, um, Brion's like, oh, I thought you were Violet. I think she's been trying to talk to me, but I keep ignoring her and I want to go down and talk to her. And um, she's like, well, why don't you let her be alone for right now? She needs to be alone and heal some. Um, and next time she comes to you, you can talk to her. And he's like, okay, I guess so. And then she shows him stuff about, um, you know, social media that is blowing up for him, you know, supporting him. And she's like, you know, she's trying to sell him on going back to Markovia, you know. And, I, again, that's why I, I said it last um, week that I think... That that's what she's, her goal is to get him to go back to Makovia. And, um, you know, right then something goes off and we find out that it's the mother box. And Victor and Violet both can feel the mother box because they both got apocalyptic technology in um, Well, New Genesis technology in them now because uh, Victor was healed by um, Orion's chair. I mean, not Orion, um, uh, the Metreon chair, so she she was healed by that, and um, they go, you know, Vic opens up a boom box, and they go, they rescue uh, Mother Box, Violet heals them, then um, heals Nightwing, and um, Black Lightning gets them out of their thing, and you know, that's where the two stories meet, and they take them back home, and just as, but just before they do that, Granny's about to attack them, and Oracle comes in and strikes her, you know, knocks her down, and then they go home, and Granny discovers something, okay? So, throughout this, we were getting a little bit to the C story. Now, the C story is about Karen and Mal. We saw earlier on in the season, you know, in the babysitting episode where they're about to kill, um, you know, where um, Ocean Master is about to kill all the parents and all the kids of the Justice League. Well... Karen's pregnant, very pregnant, and she's about to have the baby, and Mal's, you know, like, her and Mal are talking, well, she goes into labor, and she has her baby, and her baby's born with a defect in the heart, like a hole in the heart, and, um, to repair it, uh, Karen needs to shrink down using her bumblebee powers and go inside. Now, her and Mal were talking before about, you know, using genetic, um, He's not a meta, she's not a meta, you know, because she got her powers from um, technology. But they, neither one of them have the meta gene. And they, um, he was saying about, you know, you can manipulate the baby's meta gene, you know, um, genes to give her meta powers and all that. Um, and until she repairs the hole in her daughter's heart, she's um, thinking about if she's going to um, give the baby the advantage of having a meta gene power. And we don't know what she does, because we go to, the next time we see them, she's out of there, and she's just laying next to the baby. So we never know if she actually goes through with it or not. And she just says she did what she had to do, you know? So that's the A, B, and C plot. And then um, there's the little credit scenes, which is all about, you know, baby, um, I think her name is Malia Malia um, Beecher. Um, Duncan, you know, so that that's the baby scene, and after we see that, there's a post credit scene, and in that we see Granny Goodness tell, talking to a hologram of Darkseid, and she tells him that she has found the anti-life equation. So the anti-life equation is um, is here, and that was the thing that was running throughout it. Remember, uh, prepare the anti-life equation. That was what all the episode titles are um, spelling out. So, we're in the final stretch. We only have a few more episodes left to go. Um, I'm going to be reviewing each of those episodes right here on Comic um, Book Theater. We're going to cover the whole season on uh, Comic Frontline, Cat and I, or Media Madness at the end of the month. So, um, But let me know what you guys think about this episode in the comments below. Let me know your thoughts on um, Young Justice Outsiders overall, and what do you expect for the rest of the season? What do you want from season four? Should they do another time skip? Should they not? Um, and where else you want to see or don't want to see in this ep um, in this season? Let me know all that in the comments below. 
Until next time, we are all outsiders.